so hello everyone welcome back to the chapter 3 and uh, in this video we'll be talking about uh, the SIGINT OS installation which uh, basically is an OS developed and designed for the SDRs and uh, for the radio transmissions so there is a bug in that if you download it directly from the website and then you try to install it in the VMware and uh, means you will be getting up an error and ending up with the frustration well in this particular video we'll be talking about those error and how you can remediate and properly install and update uh, your second os in vmware so let us start with that so this is basically the website from where you can download the second os and uh, if you notice uh, this is the one so let's go there and download i already have downloaded it you can go and download it from here and uh, then if you go and try to install it in your virtual machine uh, you won't be able to install it and uh, at the end you will be finishing it up with an error that uh, which will be saying that no such file in the directory slash target slash boot and VM Linux 4.1. This uh, basically the OS is designed on the platform of Ubuntu and uh, it's basically the hardened from Ubuntu and uh, all the tool sets required for uh, the radio and uh, all those things will be present in it. And uh, the thing is like uh, in this particular kernel version of Ubuntu there is a bug due to which you will be ended ending up with this error. So let us try and uh, try to fix it up like why this error is there and how we can remediate this error. So let us go with it and so I have already downloaded up uh, the SIGINT OS iOS file and let me just try to open it and show you like this is the one ISO file and uh, let us try to install it with a fresh installation. I already installed it in my virtual machine so let us go ahead and try to make out a new machine and then try to install it so we'll be making out a new virtual machine and uh, then we'll be going up to custom and uh, from here you can go with the latest version of vm and you can go and select the iso image and you can go with others and versions also others you can save it wherever you want to and then click on next 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 and you can go ahead and start booting it up with a live environment so before starting up uh, our second os uh, let us just first boot up with a live image and uh, after booting up you will be getting the screen like this and then after this uh, we'll be going up to terminal and uh, then we will be going up to starting the installation uh, utility that is your ubiquity and uh, in this uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be continuing uh, means we'll be pressing continue and it raise all disk as i just want to write into my entire partition so after this it will ask you for continue to raise so after clicking next and uh, completing all the format keys, we'll be making up a directory that is slash target slash boot and then we'll be copying up some of the files from uh, our cd-rom which we have inserted and did a live boot in that so what we'll be doing up is copy and uh, then what we'll be doing up is and uh, cd-rom and then casper then int rd gz and then we'll be copying the same into the directory which we have created and after this uh, we'll be copying some more that is your cd-rom uh, sorry and this one is uh, let me just bring up uh, this is uh, your cd-rom and then casper then uh, we'll be going to vm linux and uh, then we'll be copying it to boot vm linux so this is the one which we'll be copying and the next is uh, we'll be copying our the same thing into slash uh, 
target and slash boot slash VM Linux, the same which we have created. And again, what we'll be doing is we'll be copying uh, the same kernel version which we are getting the error. That is 4.1.0-43 generate to slash boot directory and then we'll be exiting it. So after this copying, uh, we now I think we won't be getting up any error inside our VM. And uh, then after this, you will be getting a screen like this, installing the system and configuring system locals and all. So it will configure the time zone and everything now. This uh, basically you will get an error due to uh, due to the keyboard uh, layout which is not present in the Ubuntu. So after completing the entire steps, you can uh, see that we have booted up from uh, our installed uh, segment into the virtual machine. I have not connected any of the CD-ROM and uh, we can boot it up directly from the hard drive. So let me just reboot it and uh, show it to you. So the next step what we are going to do in this is like after uh, booting it up, we'll be running up the command appcat update and appcat upgrade which will upgrade the entire firmware and the necessary tool sets inside uh, this particular OS and uh, after which uh, we are good to go as you can see like uh, we have installed it and uh, the default password will be sigint and uh, sigint os Oops. okay so after booting this image we can directly run up with the app got upgrade and app got update which will update and upgrade your entire machine and uh, after this what we can do is that is like i'll be sharing you uh, the entire commands which we have used in this particular video in the comments below and also i'll be sharing you the entire uh, vmdk the compiled vm file uh, so that you can download it directly you need not to go uh, means you can either go to sigintos.com and you can install it from there. You can download the ISO or you can download the direct virtual machine from the given link below in this video. So, well, that's all in this video. Thanks a lot and thanks for watching. I hope you have liked it, required your support uh, by keep on sharing and liking up this video. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your time.